Hello everyone, so today I am back to talk to you about something called grounding. Many of you who understand alternate healing have understood uh, this term very well and many of you have just heard this term but are not so aware as to what is it all about. But yes, you know that grounding is very important aspect of healing. So today I am going to explain you in detail as to what is grounding and um, how do you understand that you are not grounded basically. You know when is it important for you to ground yourself to help you uh, stay stable and calm. Now something that we call as ungroundedness, how do we understand? How do we understand that we are not grounded and it's very important for us to uh, do some grounding exercises. Now when a person is ungrounded, the person will tend to be quite anxious or restless. Okay, that's point number one you need to remember. If a person is not grounded, the person will tend to get agitated, hyper, very easily. With a, a, a simple trigger, the person will feel very awkward and um, uncomfortable and the person will start yelling. That's another sound or, uh, you know, sign of ungroundedness. If a person is not grounded, then the person will tend to become a sort of a drama queen or king. You know, like with small things, um, the person will tend to become very emotional, take it to heart or take things personally and create a scene out of it. The person will not be able to um, understand the other person's perspective but try to become judgmental and you know try to uh, show that I am the victim I'm the victim in this situation and you know everyone is just pouncing at me everyone is trying to um, misuse my innocence and my um, uh, good behavior people are taking me for granted and they are trying to misuse me so when these sort of things keep coming to you understand people that you are not grounded your energy is not in sync with the um, energy that is required for you to stay grounded in this um, planet it is like your feet has to be firmly fixed on the ground in, in a layman's term if you understand grounded means you should be very much here very much here so when you are not completely grounded you will feel spacey, you will feel that you are unable to find stability in your thought process. You will not be able to find um, calmness within you. You will feel something is not in sync in your life. So these are the symptoms of ungroundedness. What are you supposed to do then? How are you supposed to do grounding? There are ample of ways um, which you can use to ground yourself I'll be explaining you few of them just to ensure that from today you can start utilizing uh, your uh, spare time or some time from your busy schedule and do grounding exercises this will enhance your energy levels you will not feel lethargic yes another sign of ungroundedness is you tend to feel lethargic you tend to feel tired very soon okay or you tend to feel very very anxious very restless either place all right so the first thing first thing that you can do to ground yourself is walk barefoot on grass and if you can do this early in the morning hours you will see there's an there's a huge amount of change that has come to your body even if you have a lot of uh, health issues nagging issues health problems you'll see the simple exercise of grounding will completely change your um, system your body will start absorbing the right nutrients it will start um, you know working the way it should be and you will feel much energetic and better and that's the most simple 
exercise to ground all right another way to uh, ground us use certain crystals there are specific crystals used for grounding and shielding your energy black obsidian is one of those crystals that can really help you there is something called uh, black tourmaline it looks like this it's like a rock and it's black in color black obsidian is more um, shiny in color and more uh, uh, it has got a more uh, smooth finish black obsidian but black tourmaline is more rough you'll get more rough cut of this use either of these and use any of these and uh, help yourself shield so uh, black tourmaline will help you ground all you need to do is take the crystal hold it in your hand hold it for some time okay at least for five minutes and uh, visualize visualize that the entire energy that is excess in your body or if there is anything toxic that is not letting you ground is going inside this crystal you know you need to do this simple visualization exercise after some time after holding it and doing this visualization exercise what you're supposed to do is take this crystal and put it on the ground all right all you need to do is take the crystal once you have visualized and you have done the grounding exercise all you need to do is take this crystal and put it on the ground for some times so what happens is the entire excess energy goes into mother earth now if you don't want to do that or you don't uh, you cannot do this another way is after doing this simple grounding exercise put it in a bowl of sea salt all right and then um, put it overnight and then you can take it out black tourmaline is by itself it's a self healing crystal so it really doesn't need um, any sort of cleansing as such but you can always place it on the ground to remove the excess energy basically all right so that is another simple exercise of grounding third is use food items that grow under the ground okay sweet potato potato right um all these uh, kind of vegetables that are grown that come from underground you know like you should try having those because they are going to give you a lot of uh, grounding when it comes to spices cinnamon garlic these are the ones that give you grounding all right so you can use these uh, more in your food um, cloves are also very good for grounding cloves will help you um, when it comes to vegetables carrots ginger these are all um, the vegetables that help you get back your grounding energy okay so it helps you stay grounded so you can use these when it comes to fruits you can have papaya grapes these fruits will help you uh, stay grounded all right so that's another way wherein you can actually find that stability you feel that yes you are very much rooted to this you are now see why do we ask you to ground yourself because it's very important for you to stay in the now moment let's not be spacey let's not be too much into the future let's not be too much into the past so the more we are into all this we are scattering our energy so we don't know when we are losing out on energy or we are gathering too much of energy which is which is not letting us stay stable all right so you might have uh, you might be feeling um, that your head is aching you might be feeling that your your mind is racing we don't need that right so that's why when you find a proper grounding you will see that you are more into the now moment and you are more stable and you are able to take right steps at the right time to resolve any issues of your life so when it comes to crystals even smoky quartz is another crystal that can help you in grounding you can even use um, that 
Another way of grounding is people try to connect with nature. How do you do that? Go to a nearby park. Go to a nearby park. But yes, do not carry your gadgets. Keep yourself away from the uh, gadgets, these electronic gadgets and connect with nature people. That's the easiest way of grounding yourself. Go to the nearby park, try to walk there, try to hug a tree. When you hug a tree, you will realize you are getting some sort of an energy which you never, the kind of power you get, you would have never felt that. There will be a kind of, you know, peace that will enter your system. Because that's a natural way of grounding. If you find it very difficult to hug a tree and you are very conscious that people might look at you and feel that you have gone crazy. If you are so much um, conscious about all that, then what you may do is you can simply touch the trunk of the tree for some time and stand there. You will get a connection, people. You'll get a connection. In the park, try to walk barefoot on grass. Okay? Try to give some time to yourself wherein you are able to listen to the um, sound of nature. You will find yourself very, very calm and peaceful. That's another way of grounding yourself, people. The connection with nature has somewhere gone, uh, taken a backseat. In today's world, we are so much busy in our um, daily hustle and bustle that we have forgotten that we need to connect with nature. So that's another way, like you go to a park or you go to a water body nearby and try to sit there. Water has tremendous power to, you know, suck out your um, challenges and all that is going on, you know, inside your head, which is not letting you um, stay calm. So water has the power to pull all that out of your system. So do that. That will also help you people. So connect with nature. Listen to the birds sound. Listen to the insects sound. That will give you a lot of connect with nature people. Instead of um, going through your mobile phones and electronic gadgets again and again throughout the day, at least give some time to yourself to connect with nature. That's again going to help you get grounded and you know, find your own calmness within you. Christians I spoke about, um, another thing people who are not physically very active, that's one reason why you are not grounded, you don't feel uh, grounded and you feel very uh, anxious very easily. So it's very important that your body gets active. So you need to be um, brushing away those uh, things that are blocking your aura and it's not letting you uh, stay calmer. You need to shake your body. So now, either you become physically active by walking every day. If you find walking very um, boring, many people, you know, they even if they want, they are unable to find out a reason or way out to go for walking. So my suggestion to them will be then, if you love dancing, then just do that, practice that. Whichever way, you don't want to join a club, you don't want to do it professionally, you don't want to go and join a dance class, it's perfectly fine. Do something to keep your body active and physically active. So, you know, you need to move your body. Do yoga if possible, um, do some um, dancing if possible, um, else go for walking or do jogging or inside your house if you want to practice any stretches and all basically you need to move your body parts people to help yourself remind that i am grounded i'm very much here all right another beautiful exercise for grounding is people um what you can do is sit down on a chair and uh, close your eyes and um, put your hands on your thigh Relax, take a few deep breaths and then what you are supposed to do is 
imagine that from your tailbone from your tailbone there are there are roots that are coming out all right as if like you imagine a tree and it has got roots that come out and they spread similarly you will have to imagine that from your tailbone there are roots coming out all right and they are completely spreading and going inside mother earth they are going deeper inside mother earth and they are spreading properly all right that's the imagination you need to do and by closing your eyes and slowly you will visualize that the complete roots have spread out and they have gone deeper inside mother earth and they are completely underground and with a strong grip they are there so now what you have done is you have completely found your footing you have imagined that your roots are coming and you're grounded so any excess energy that is coming from above from universe and could not find a way out of your system through this exercise will completely go beneath and it will flow down the mother earth and you will feel relaxed so the entire um, chakras you know all the chakras they will find a lot of relief people because the excess energy that is not letting them work properly you will unknowingly you are actually helping those chakras completely drain out the excess energy and that's going so that's another way of helping you stay grounded people so that's another exercise you can do to uh, make yourself uh, yourself feel calmer see all this exercise that i'm giving you they also help you when you feel very irritated when you are angry about your life about your own position in this um, society you feel as if like you are good for nothing all these weird judgmental you know thought process when you get please practice any of these exercises that i'm giving you these are really really powerful ones which really help you to stay calm another very simple exercise i'll uh, share with you and that is called 54321 it's a game called 54321 now what you need to do is immediately to calm you down now people who are into um, teaching profession people who are into a corporate uh, scenario wherein like they are they're amidst a meeting and they are feeling very irritated they are unable to find out a way how to feel peaceful because certain things are going against them and they are not liking it might be the um, the topic of discussion is taking a turn which is not in your favor or something is bothering you which is giving you a lot of uh, uh, negative thoughts so now how do you change your uh, thought process and calm yourself during that time you can't get up and go to uh, walk you cannot do all that you cannot sit by closing your eyes and imagining all these exercises was what i asked you right now so the simple way what you can do now is the 54321 exercise what are you supposed to do is first look at the uh, place where you are sitting now describe five things to your own self what are those that you can look around okay then you name four things that you could uh, you know feel in that room wherever you are sitting four things that you can feel immediately okay ask yourself and you do that then what are the three things that you hear the sound that is very prominent now suppose you could hear your boss's you know whatever he is uh, talking about so you could hear your boss's voice then what else you can you hear any traffic uh, sound or can you hear the sound of the uh, fan or ac anything like you know those three things immediately you uh, then try to find out what can you hear okay then two things you will have to um tell yourself that you can smell the aroma in that particular space where you are sitting what are the two things of which you could smell you could feel you could get an aroma of okay name those two things and last but not the least is name one good thing about yourself okay so once you do this 5 4 3 2 1 exercise 
you will see you could completely change your thought process you are out of that um situation wherein you were feeling very irritated you will again find yourself calm and you will continue with the meeting or whatever it is so these are very simple things people yeah to keep yourself grounded always ensure uh, one major thing that you need to remember is do not be judgmental about anyone or any situation or anything that is a very easy way if you are judgmental if you are into judging people if you are trying to um, be into that zone wherein you find faults in others and try to blame others you will see that you tend to feel anxious and restless very fast you will tend to feel that you are not having a good life for yourself and um, you will always find yourself being a victim so try to be non judgmental that's very important for you also try to be detached people attachment really gives a lot of trouble stay detached and do things you will find lot of peace flowing into your life all right and um, try to adopt relaxation techniques every day find some time out for yourself to relax whatever you feel gives you a um, lot of relaxation bring that into your system be it listening to music do that be it having a good bath do that if you feel good by um, getting a good massage try to get that you know anything that gives you a lot of peace and relaxation do that if you feel happy by meditating every day then do take some time out for yourself for 10 minutes at least meditate but remember people grounding is very important for you to heal your mind body and soul grounding is the first step to any healing until unless you are grounded you cannot take the advantage of any sort of healing all right so that was the reason i wanted to cover this topic today so that you really understand if, whether you are in the right space and if you are not there then what is it you are supposed to do to get back yourself into the right space so that you are grounded and you can manage all the um, hustle and bustle in the right way all right chalo then so this brings me to the end of today's video i hope you like the topic I'll come back again with another topic till then this is Sean Chali saying goodbye to all of you please do share this with others whom you feel um, it will benefit and I'll be back with another topic very soon till then take care bye bye